Guess what guys? Toys from China, which gives me an idea for another video. How's it going fellow photophiles? My name is Leah and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. I'm pretty sure I know what's inside these things, which is why I made this video. I hope it's that thing and I didn't just destroy it. These are little plastic casings for my batteries. Since these objects are all about organization, I decided to make a video about what I keep in my bag. This is a little memory SIM card case thingamajig for all my SD cards. Looks pretty fancy on the pictures and it, it, it really looks like a little tiny suitcase. It's a cute little suitcase. It's got all these little notches and things to keep it nicely shut. Let's open it up and all these little cool compartments for my SD cards. So an SD card apparently goes fits pretty snug I guess. Well this one's not as snug but uh, it feels perfectly. I like this. So I filmed that the other day and it got me thinking. I get so many questions across social media about what equipment I use, what lenses I use, what are my settings. So I decided to make a review of all of my equipment or at least the most basic things which I use on a regular basis. So right off the top, let's start with my camera. This is a D3300, an entry level DSLR. It is amazing and I made an entire video dedicated to it and the work I've done with it for the last four or five years. It was pretty pricey when I got it, but nowadays you can find it for pretty cheap if it's used on eBay. It's really light and portable and easy to travel with and it suits all my knees, but it is kind of old and falling apart. You see like this piece of rubber is just, just comes off. So next up are my lenses. This is my 18 to 105, an amazing length with a nice focal range. I use it for absolutely anything, but mostly those wide shots, especially in tight spaces, because I do like corporate events and weddings, and often I'm in a small room the size of this one. It replaced the original 1855 kit lens that I had because that one was broken, and I'm really happy with this one because it's really sharp. I think it's sharper than the last one. The only problem is that it can't really focus as close as the other one. So sometimes when you're like this far away, that's the closest it can focus and I'm trying to shoot a landscape shot and I want it to focus this close like the old one did so in the future I'm going to be looking for like an ultra wide maybe a 16 millimeter or a 12 millimeter but also so it can focus really close because I love that kind of close far landscape shots. This is my 50 millimeter f1.4 it's actually a full frame lens but it works great with my camera it's roughly the equivalent of an 80 millimeter. The huge aperture makes it really easy to use in like low light situations and I could really not do my photo and video work on the level that I am without this lens. The problem is it doesn't have any stabilization, so the footage can be pretty shaky, but I can usually fix that with a warp stabilizer. Okay, now these other lenses I don't use so much. This is a 24, oh, 28 to 105. It's a pretty old lens, it's a D series, so it can't autofocus with my DSLR because I don't have a focus motor inside the camera, unlike some of the high level DSLRs. I really like it because you can literally put something on the lens and it can focus that close. So for like really close up macros of bugs or something, Thing or snail shots I just throw that one on and put it on but I don't usually carry it around in my bag this one I got as a gift from a friend it's a Tokina I think like a 70 to 200 or something it's a great focal length but I don't use it much because uh, it has no autofocus it has no stabilization so it could only be used for a video but then because of the long focal length it's super jerky because my camera doesn't have stabilization either so I used it once or twice to test it and that's about it and my speed light. Of course, I wouldn't be able to do like any of my photography without a speed light because it's an absolute must if you're doing indoor stuffs. This is a young Nuo 565X. It's amazing for the price. It's also really budget, as is the rest of my equipment, obviously. And I got these two triggers to go with it because one is a receiver, one is a transceiver, depends how you put the settings. And then you can use your flash off camera, which is really cool because you don't always want the light coming from the same direction as your camera. So then you take it off your camera, put it on a trigger somewhere on the side, behind you, whatever, and you put one trigger on the camera. And then when you click take a picture, the flash goes off somewhere else. This is probably the best piece of kit I have, the most versatile piece of kit I have. It's a handheld recorder. It's a Zoom H6. Uh, I did a full review on it a long time ago. I was lucky because my NGO actually paid for it because we were recording puppet shows, we were recording songs, a whole bunch of things. And plus I could use it in my vlog, so we got it. It's really amazing. It just runs on four AA batteries. I use the end loop, same as the ones that I use for my flash. It has an SD card slot. It has a bunch of inputs on each of the sides. It has a native microphone, which I can change around with other microphones and it's really high quality. That's the one I'm using right now in XY. This mid side mic is cool too, but I've only used it a couple times when I'm playing guitar. It's got a little wind mount, whatever thingy against those pep, 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 
sounds. It's got two inputs on one side, two inputs on the other side. It's got physical volume controls. I mean, I can't say enough good things about this. And on top of that, on the XY capsule, you got an input for a lavalier mic, which you can just attach to your shirt. And I use it all the time for interviews and stuff in other videos. And if you have this little gadget, it just goes on your hot shoe. And on the other side, you can attach it to to the microphone but it's really flimsy because the microphone is kind of heavy so it was always spinning around and I don't do that anymore. This is the tax star which I made a separate video about because I got a fake one by accident so you can check that out. Pretty high quality, it, it works on one AA battery and it lasts for a pretty long amount of time on that one battery. You just mount it onto your camera, you plug it in, and usually I just use it as a backup on my camera in case my other microphone malfunctions. Its sound is really good for the price, but not like road quality or something, but I'm happy with it. You literally just stick it on your camera and then you use this little cable to plug into the side of your camera and it works. And of course my tripod, like this was probably one of my better investments ever in the world of photography. This is a Manfrotto action something black tripod. It's got this weird little handle so you can move it around easily, which may get in the way, but it's never bothered me. It's decently lightweight, it's decently stable, perfect for traveling, and the best part is that this converts into a kind of shoulder mount. I don't think this is an intentional design idea from Manfrotto, but this is a way I found to use it. I put the camera here and I got the perfect shoulder mount, which makes my shots really stable. The Xiaomi is an amazing little camera, also one of my better investments. I've been using it on so many occasions for action sports and places I just couldn't take my DSLR and I wouldn't replace it for anything. And it takes stills that look like they're taken on a DSLR. Of course, you don't get that depth of focus you would with a decent lens, but I'm really happy with the quality of pictures. So this is the case for the Xiaomi. It actually broke in the last video where I jumped off a horse and uh, it's pretty decent. I've tested it under 21 meters or so underwater, even though the limit is like 60 meters and it worked perfectly fine. That video is here. These are the spare batteries for my Xiaomi. Uh, this is some other new Ovova, whatever company because I didn't want to get originals. And of course my lens ball, the hero of my camera bag. Because if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that one out of every four photos at least is probably a lens ball photo because I love the effect and I don't see it used a lot, at least not by the other photographers here. And this is the new case that I was just unboxing with my Eneloop sets. Uh, I probably have to find a way to mark them with like used, charged, uncharged, so I don't mix them up. This is the new case. I don't know if it's waterproof. I just got it. I haven't had time to test it, but the cards fit perfectly inside. I don't have specific preferences with SD cards. I usually look for deals and get them for half off, like those Lexars. Lexars are a really cool company, but I only got those because they were two for one price somewhere, I don't remember. This is some cheap ass Chinese filter. I think it was 14 bucks or something. And you got, wait, I have them right here. I got a whole stack of them, a whole kind bunch of filters, some of them are gradient, blah, blah, blah. It's a pain to use, it's a lot to carry around and it takes a long time to put them up. So I've taken some cool pictures with it, but uh, I don't carry it around or use it very often. I am planning to get one of those customizable ND filters. As you turn it, it becomes darker, lighter because that's really good, especially for video. So these are my accessories for my handheld recorder, which I use for like interviews and stuff. A spare battery, also from a third party company. So this is a mount for a tripod. Uh, I never actually use it with my camera. I don't see the use. You put your camera on a tripod, great. But I have used it, and I'm using it right now with my microphone. See, this just goes on here, and I get a perfect stand. Sorry for the weird audio. I get a perfect stand uh, for my mic. And this is what my friends call a thrill though. It's just a gorilla pod. I'm not really happy with it. It's pretty cheap, and I had to get this ball mount separately. Uh, sometimes it gets stuck and other times it's just too flexible and my camera just goes so but I use it often and actually I'm using it right now okay now this is a giant piece of my equipment which I really love it's a glide cam some cheap one I don't remember how much I paid for it it's amazing it makes amazing quality smooth video if you practice with it a little bit I use it a couple times and I'm super happy with the results even though at certain parts you can feel that it's not the original one, especially with the balance. But uh, I don't carry it around with me a lot because it's big, it's flimsy, you need to carry around the whole bag with you and it just takes up too much space and time. So I use it only on specific shoots 
where I know I'm gonna get those shots, but hopefully one day I'll get a proper guild bull. Maybe the Ronin 7S is that whatever it was. And then this thing might become obsolete, we'll see. So this is an action cam dolly, or that's what it's called. It's just a bunch of wheels. Some of my friends call it a skateboard for my camera. I also did a video on that. The wheels can be turned around and it's a great little piece of kit. I've used it a couple times for a really close up. I used it a couple of times for larger shots and it's great. But again, you need to have really specific circumstances in order to be able to use it properly. So it's just not the kind of equipment you'd always be carrying around with you. This little customizable arm I accidentally found somewhere on eBay. It's also super useful. You can like move it around in any position. And as soon as you tighten this knob, it will stay in that position without moving. So it's really cool. And in case you were wondering, I didn't actually pick these colors to be matching. Like all of my equipment is black and blue. This skateboard thing is black and blue. This glide cam thing is black and blue. My headphones are blue. My other headphones are blue. Look, my card case is black and blue. I even have a USB hub, which I don't use, but it's got blue USB slots and a blue cable. Even the bag I showed you with the filters is black and blue. So even though I didn't pick it purposely, I really dig this whole black thing with a slight blue accent. Well, that's it. I hope it was some useful or entertaining info in some way. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, I'm gonna see you guys next week. And also, winter's coming, finally. Forgive me, I'm Ukrainian.